Good evening. Do you listen to me, people? Yeah, man, I guess you're, you're listening to me. So good evening, everybody. Uh, we're gonna continue with with part of the things that we were like working on uh, yesterday. So I hope you have had a good day, all right? In the job, some of you, I guess, uh, are on the way home. Some of you are in the house already. So, but good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carlos. Good to hear from you, man. All right, so we're going to start with the things that we are going to have for today's class, okay? So please, if you are there, people, turn on the cameras because I want to see you, all right? I do really want to see you. Give me one second. I'm just loading the information. Oh, yeah, I mean, this is the famous list. All right, so I guess uh, your day at work was, was pretty cool. So I hope you have had, as I told you, a good day. And uh, today we're going to finish, you know, like, like with a good uh, energy, the class, right, for, for tonight. So let's say, all right, Michelle, good evening. Are you in your house, Michelle? Just in casa? Si. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, man. Is it, is it raining by the place where you live, people? Está lloviendo por sus lugares? Yes. Oh, no. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining too. Okay. Bueno, espero que los demás se puedan conectar. Bueno, al menos los que no se pudieron conectar el, 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 ayer. Uh, I hope they can connect. Julio is getting connected. I am. Cool, Julio. What's that? What's that with the light, Julio? <laughs> Probando las luces. <laughs> yeah, man. I see. I see. <laughs> Yo pensé que ya se le había quemado y se estaba parpadeando. No. Una ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál me da menos? <laughs> ah, ok, ok. Uh, that's cool. That's great. Ok, people. Vamos a comenzar entonces con la clase de esta noche. Uh, so, buenas noches a todos. Uh, vamos a comenzar con la lista de asistencia. Because it's like a real time, right? Yeah? All right, you give me one second. <laughs> Uh, okay, Joanna, no problem. Thank you for telling me. All right, so but I'm going to start with, as I told you, the attendance list. So, so let's start. Andres Joel. Andres, Andres. No. Okay. Uh, Carlos Mauricio. Present. Okay, perfect. Uh, Cindy Melanie. Present, teacher. Okay. You're there. All right. Uh, Stephanie Michel. Present. Okay, nice. Ivania Jamilet. Present, teacher. Okay, excellent. Let's continue. Jacqueline Patricia. Jacqueline. All right, she's not here. Let's move. Joanna Sarai. Present, teacher. Okay, nice. Let's continue, uh, Jorge Alberto. Okay, Jorge is not here. Let's move, Jose Elgar. Present. Okay, perfect. Uh, Juan Emanuel. Emanuel, Emanuel is not here yet. Uh, Juan Gilberto. All right, Gilberto. Okay, let's continue. Julio Alberto. All right, it's weird, Julio's not getting connected. Julio Cesar. Present. Okay, nice. Karen Beatriz. Okay, neither Karen is not here yet. Carla Lisette. Present. Okay, nice. Let's move uh, Raquel Stephanie. Raquel, are you there? Hmm. I guess she's there, but I'm not. 
en mi sí. Bueno, estaba. Ok, good. Let's continue. Verónica Arely. Present. Ok, nice. Let's move a uh, Wendy Jamilet. Present. Ok, excellent. William Ernesto. Present. Ok, nice. Xiomara Elizabeth. Ok, Xiomara is not here. Uh, Carlos Jose. Present teacher. All right, and the last one, Reinaldo Chavez. And if Reinaldo is already here. No, not yet. Okay, anyways. Let's just start over with the things that uh, we had okay, for today. Uh, yesterday, we were discussing a very interesting topic. Can somebody tell me what was the topic that we were discussing yesterday? ¿Alguien podría mencionarme el tema que estuvimos discutiendo la clase pasada? Sale sí. Ah. Vamos a ver si recuerdan. Any volunteer? The infinitive. Which one? Which one is there? Emmanuel? I didn't listen to that one. Infinitives. No, okay, cool. So we were talking about infinitives. ¿Cómo formamos un infinitivo? So let's see. ¿A qué le llamamos infinitivo? Any other volunteer? ¿Algún otro voluntario? When we use the CQ, I've heard that the perfect. Ah, okay. All right. I listened to that. Thank you, Emmanuel. So basically, it's when we add the preposition to, to the main verb, right? So we got two plus the verb. So that becomes into an infinitive, okay? And yesterday we were focusing the uses of infinitives with one specific topic. What was the topic that we were discussing yesterday? A qué tema nos estábamos refiriendo ayer con el uso de los infinitivos? So let's see, this is just to refresh your mind, okay? Simplemente estamos haciendo para uh, uh, tratar de recordar un poco lo que vimos ayer. What was it? Ah, que por cierto me traen algo ahora, güey. Now I remember. Ah, okay, cool. The mission and the vision of the company, right? Of a company. Que por cierto me traen algo, creo. As, as far as I know. All right. So let's remember, when we talk about the mission and vision of a company, basically we're talking, all right, about what the company okay is trying to get and where the company goes or what the company wants to reach in the future right so por lo general usamos infinitivos para hablar sobre la misión y la visión de una compañía right especialmente cuando estamos hablando del propósito de esa de esa, de esa compañía por así decirlo right y es like crecer pues entonces vamos a decir to grow, right? Si es convertirse o llegar a ser la mejor empresa, por así decirlo. Ah, ya sabemos que vamos a utilizar like to become, right? To become the best company. Eh, y ahí vamos a mencionar eh, sobre el, el área de la que estamos hablando, right? Yesterday we were talking about that and I remember I told you something before we leave the class. Uh, and you were about to bring something to the class, right? I told you to create, right, the name of something from a company, your own company, if you had the chance to, to do one, and bring me the mission and the vision of the company. Did you do that? Only the mission. Okay, Carlos, you got only the mission. Can you please read it what you got? Okay, uh, the name of the company is Chavez Travel. Ah, okay, Chavez uh, Travel. And, and the mission is become the company with the best price to travel. Okay, to become, right? To become. Uh -huh. To become the company uh, with the best price prices uh -huh. to travel. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. very good. 
There you go. Very good. But I don't have the, I don't have the, the vision now. That guy, but it's acceptable. At least you got the mission. All right. Thank you, Carlos. Let me see. Who else was yesterday over here with me? Uh, uh, mm, mm, Veronica? Okay. My company is, in realidad, una fundación. Entonces, lo escribí así. Okay. We are a foundation whose mission is to promote projects and programs for the development of people with disabilities through employment, education, rehabilitation, and mental health. Ah, okay, very good. That's excellent. There you go. And the vision to become the benchmark foundation for the inclusion and development of people with disabilities in El Salvador and Central America. Ah, that's great, Veronica. Thank you. You did it a good job, right? You did it excellent. All right. So let's see. Uh, who's next? I want to see if I can tenga la camera apagada. Let me see. Wendy. I'm going to start with Wendy. All right, Wendy. What did you bring, Wendy? Wendy, are you there? Hola. Okay, Wendy. I want to listen uh, to your mission or vision, whatever you have, uh, like the homework I told you to do. Fíjese que no me pude quedar ayer hasta terminar la clase porque estaba bien en forma. Entonces, eh, no podía ir muy tarde a la farmacia a comprar, entonces decidí mejor salirme, ya no aguantaba. Well, you didn't finish the class? Ah, no terminó la clase ayer, en serio. No, no, me retiré quizás como unos 20 minutos antes porque había tenido un dolor estomacal durante la, desde la tarde, desde que almorcé. Ah. Y no le tuve mucha importancia y entonces ya estaba demasiado. Ah, ok. Estoy medio enfermosa y va a disculpar, así que no voy a poder participar. No, no, no puse mucha atención. No coma mucha pupusa. <ríe> no, mira, es tu no problem, no problem. Me comí una charamusca y eso me hizo daño, la leche. Vale. Sí, ah. usted. Que okay. es ah. medio malosa. <ríe> <ríe> sorry, Wendy, sorry. Ok, no problem. Let me see. Uh, who else was with me yesterday? Uh, ah, Michelle. Michelle. I know Michelle's going to read her mission and vision. Michelle, are you there? Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, Michelle, are you there? Okay, mientras se descongela, Michelle. William, did you bring yours? Eh, sí, ahora lo logré hacer. Eh, the company's travel beach. Ah, okay. Okay, go eh, la, visi la visión eh, mm -hmm. to become the most visited company. Ah, okay, good point. And the mission? Eh, mission eh, that people are very satisfied. Satisfied, no sé cómo se puede decir. Satisf satisfied. 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 Yes. With the stay. Ah, okay. All right. People to be satisfied with the stay. Okay, yeah. cool. There you go. Thank you, William. And I'm okay. just, just as a congelo, Michelle. Michelle, read yours, man. Hola. Hi. Teacher, usted como dijo solo misión y visión, no pensé en el nombre. No problem. No me da. All right. Okay, no problem. <laughs> give, me, give me the mission and vision that you have. So Hola, probably. me escucha. Yes, 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 Michelle. Yes, I will listen ah, to you. Ah, vaya. La mi mission, mission to have a variety, to have a variety, no sé cómo se dice, variety. 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 Uh -huh. Of shoe design, a 
available? Available. Uh -huh. Available. To please the task of of customer. The case of a customer. Ajá. Eh, la palabra se escribe taste. Está mal. No, se, le pregunto, se escribe así como taste. No, no. ¿Cómo se escribe? T T A S L E. Ah, the tail of the customer. Ah, okay. All right. Cool. So does that, that that belongs to a uh, shoe store? Yeah, that belongs to like like a shoe store. Yeah, right. Sí. Ah, okay, cool. But y la vision mm -hmm. to have a branch in each department of the country. Mm -hmm. Okay, to have a branch in each department of the country. No, okay, cool. Está bien. Yeah, man. It was a Michelle Chose store. Así lo voy a poner, no pensé en nada. Yes, man. Y usted con su logo así, la manita, así como que. Ah, That's still it. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you for okay. your participation. Let me see who else was with me yesterday. Ah, it was Carla. Okay, Carla. You bring it. Good evening, Mr. Okay. I am in this. This is Gilberto. That's cool, Gilberto, to see you. Okay. Nice, Carla. Continue. Okay. Um, yo lo hice con una tienda de ropa. Okay, no problem. Um, Let's go. We are a business with a mark. No sé si así se dice marca. Uh, brand, actually. Okay. Round a uh, concert to enforce a uh -huh. fashion crowd the world. El, ese mission. Uh -huh. Vision to be a business around to the work department in the fashion marketing. Mm. Okay. There you go. Very interesting. It's a year. Your enterprise is like one of the, like to become big, big enough, right? To give you employees a good entrance. Okay, that's cool, Carla. Thank you. Let me see who else was, was in here yesterday. Ah, it was Carlos Gamero. Did you bring it, Mr. The mission of my company is to become the best comfort to the clients, the vision to be the most preferred in all room to rest. Ah, okay, all right. Well, so basically that's related to hotels, right? Okay, well, that's pretty much. Yes. Okay, cool. Thank you, Carlos. Ivania, did you bring yours? Um, my company is two restaurants. Ah, a restaurant. Okay. Uh, vision uh, uh -huh. to be recognized among the best restaurant locally and nationally for our gastronomic offer as more bear and attention. Mm -hmm. okay. And mission is at the spectrum of our client in such a way that our name is now as a memorable experience. We are my cardboard and different option maintain excellent quality in our dish. Ah, okay, very good. Not bad. Thank you, Vania. Okay. That's, that's pretty cool. All right, just related to food, right? Related to the restaurants. Okay, that's 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 great. That's great. I think the other ones are just the ones that didn't uh, show up to the class yesterday. And because because of, it was raining yesterday, I guess. So let me see. I got sixteen people now. All right, but it's still okay. Probably uh, during the class session, more people are going to be joining uh, to the class. All right. So today we're gonna start with a very different topic in comparison to the one that we were discussing last class. 
So last class, it was just related to uh, infinitives, right? Now, we are going to be working or, or talking in this case about a completely different uh, topic, right? Now, what is going to be uh, that topic? We're gonna be like, you know, discussing about, let's see this. Look. All right, this is the one. We're gonna make a short remarkable thing just to start. All right, so the topic is going to be how to use ing forms after prepositions, right? Cuando hablamos sobre ing forms, ¿qué se les viene a la mente? Como vamos a usar una nueva estructura. Yeah. Vamos a agregar el, el ing, pero en el preposition. En el preposition? No, ok, ok. Kind of close. All right. Any other participation? Alguien más? Cuando hablamos de ING, ¿a qué creen ustedes que nos referimos? Como a presente continuo. Ah, se les viene a la mente el presente continuo o presente progresivo, que es lo mismo. All right. Ya, yeah, porque básicamente el presente progresivo o presente continuo Es básicamente cuando llevamos ING en el verbo para mencionar que una acción se está desarrollando en el instante. All right? Si recuerdan la, el módulo pasado. Es como, ah, es como decir, estoy cantando. Exactly. Uh, like, likely oh. similar, ¿ok? Likely similar to that. De, la, on, oh. la única diferencia es que esa estructura la solíamos usar, si lo recuerdan, en, la, en el módulo pasado, cuando vimos sobre el presente progresivo, right? O present continuous, en las cuales decíamos, I am teaching English. Remember that? Una acción que se desarrolla en el instante, all right? Pero ahora bien, esa estructura como tal se llamaba present continuous o present progressive. En este caso, ok, estas ing form que les llamamos es simplemente el verbo con el ing después de ciertas preposiciones. Bien, ¿a qué se refiere esto? Que cuando ya hablamos de un verbo en ing, right, ah, después de ciertas preposiciones, ya acá la estructura ya no es presente continuo, ¿ok? Ya es una estructura considerada un gerundio, o en inglés, gerund, right? That's the name, ¿ok? Gerund. Ya vamos a ver esa parte ahí. Entonces, ¿qué significa? Que acá la acción no se está desarrollando en el instante o al momento de hablar, right? Like at the moment of speaking, right? Como decíamos, para formar el present progressive, ¿qué necesitábamos? Necesitábamos el subject, the verb be, okay? The verb in ing, and then a complement, subject. For example, I, the verb be, what is the form of the verb be that goes with I? Remember, am, all right? I am. And then the verb or the main verb in ing, I am teaching, and then a complement, English. I am teaching English. That action was in the moment of speaking. But these actions related to ing forms is different. Why? Because in here, we use the verb in ing, but it's not a progressive action. How come? Take a look at this. Let's start uh, talking about that topic so you can understand better. But, but first of all, let's start with the class agenda, right? So we had the review from the previous class. Ya vimos un poco sobre el repaso de la clase anterior, sobre el uso de, las, uh, de los infinitivos. Okay, recordemos, infinitivos cuando le damos to al verbo principal, right? Now, we're going to start with the uses of ing verse after prepositions, right? And after that, we're going to have a short conversation practice. Vamos a tener una pequeña práctica de una conversación, right? Para aplicar el tema que estamos discutiendo. And then we're going to be working in the manuals, okay? Luego vamos a estar trabajando en los manuales, right? That this is pretty much what we are going to be doing. And at the end, if we have time, we're going to complete some exercises to see if you uh, understand the topic completely, okay? So this is like the class agenda for the rest of the class. But let's start with the ING after preposition. Recordemos, ING 
es simplemente colocar eh, el verbo, right, de manera, por así decirlo, gerundia. Ok, es a jerry. Check this out, vamos a ver un poco sobre él. Ok, listen. Because I'm like, like, like kind of worrying to, to, to read this. Uh, William, can you help me out reading, please? Use a verb plus ing after I, preposition. ING, uh huh. ING after preposition, like for all of in expression. Uh huh. As be responsible, uh, responsible for be uh -huh. in, in charge. Uh -huh. eh, Ticha, no soy, no soy medio cortado. Es que yo me no. estoy escuchando algo cortado. No, ok. No. Be in charge. In, char in charge of. Be accountable for committee to. All right. Dedicate to. Dedicated to. Ok, cool. Listen up. Estas van a ser las estructuras con las cuales nosotros vamos a estar trabajando. Ok. Uh, be responsible for. Ok, be in charge of, right? Be accountable for, committed to, and dedicated to. Ok, listen up. ¿A qué se refiere ING after prepositions? Si ven, estas expresiones o estas frases terminan siempre en una preposición. ¿Cuáles son las preposiciones? Tenemos for and of, right? Be responsible for. So, la preposición ahí es for. ¿Qué significa? Listen up. Que si nosotros colocamos un verbo después de estas preposiciones, ese verbo está obligado a ya no estar en forma base, sino que tenemos que agregar ing a ese verbo, ¿ok? Dependiendo de la acción que nosotros vamos a hablar, así va a ser el verbo que vamos a modificar, lo vamos a poner en ing. How come? ¿Cómo así? Check this out. Check, check a look at these examples. I am responsible for. Y acá tenemos el verbo send. Ok. Over here, we have the verb send. ¿Cuál es la forma base de este verbo? Sending. Send. Like over here. So we have send plus ing over here. Look. ¿Y por qué tenemos esto? All right. If you take a look in here. Porque después de for, el verbo, este verbo de acá. Tiene que modificarse y colocarse con ing. All right? Y así como tenemos el verbo send, podemos poner cualquier otro verbo, ¿ok? Eh, eh, sobre la acción, ¿ok? Que nosotros queramos poner ahí, ¿all right? Dependiendo de la acción, así va a ser el verbo que vamos a poner ahí. Y sea cual sea la acción, este verbo tiene que ir con ing. All right? I am responsible for sending emails to my clients. Ah, soy responsable de. Listen up. Soy responsable de. Right? Responsible for significa ser responsable de. Right? Be responsible for. Okay? Ser responsable de. So in that case, I am responsible for sending emails to my clients. Ah, soy responsable de enviar emails a mis clientes. All right? So that's, that's, that's the one, right? Okay, cool. Now, let's take a look at the other example that we have over here. Check that out. Wendy, help me out reading that one, please. She's in charge mm -hmm. of training the new employee. Employees, all right. Thank you, Wendy. All right, she is in charge of training the new employees. ¿Qué creen ustedes que significa be in charge of? A cargo de. Exactly. Estar a cargo de. Ok. That's be in charge of. Pero recordemos que be se divide en tres formas en simple present. Cuando lo tenemos en simple present, be se dividen en tres formas. ¿Cuáles son esas tres formas de be que las podemos conjugar en Simple present. ¿Cuáles son? Eso ya lo vemos en módulo 1 y módulo 2. Ajá. ¿Cuáles son? Is, are, and am. 
Exactly, all right? So we got am, is, and are, all right? Esas son las tres formas del verbo be que podemos conjugar en el presente simple, right? In simple present. So, take a look at this. Por eso acá, después de she, tenemos is, right? Porque ya es la forma del verbo to be, tal y como aparece uh, over here, all right? Over here, in, in the structure. Look, be in church of, right? So, por eso tenemos acá, is in church of. Take a look at that, all right? Ok, y después de el of, el verbo que coloquemos acá, over here, como siempre, tiene que ir en ing, ok? Acá training no es entrenando o capacitando, ok? Sino que acá el verbo se traduce de manera a, como si estuviera en forma base, ok? She is in charge of training the new employees. Ah, ella está a cargo de entrenar, you see, o capacitar. Acá no es entrenando o capacitando, sino está a cargo de entrenar o capacitar los nuevos empleados, right? The new employees. All right. So this is the way how this structure works, all right? Entonces estas son las estructuras con las cuales vamos a estar trabajando, right? En las cuales después de la preposición, ya sea for or to, el siguiente verbo que nosotros coloquemos, dependiendo de la acción, ¿ok? Ese verbo tiene que ir con ing, right? Has to go in ing. All right. Uh, with this structure, hasta acá, ¿tenemos alguna duda? Any question related to this? Ahorita simplemente hemos visto dos de ellas, ¿ok? But I ask you guys, do you have any question? O todo va quedando súper claro. Yo tengo una consulta, teacher. Yeah, Carla, tell me. Um, el for y el of tienen un significado. Yes. En este caso, el significado de, de for o of básicamente es right, de. Dependiendo del contexto en el que se esté manejando, siempre va a ser de. ¿Ok? Recordemos que for tiene varios significados. ¿Ok? Puede ser para, por, right? Pero en este caso, el contexto es de. ¿Ok? That's the translation. ¿Ok? okay. Yes. Yeah, I mean, like, be responsible Thanks. for, right? Ser responsable de. ¿Ok? Y en algunas okay. situaciones lo podemos traducir como ser responsable, mm -hmm. right? Por, right? Cuando ya nos referimos a un grupo de personas, por así decirlo, right? Entonces, como le, le, les okay. mencionaba, depende del contexto, ¿Ok? There okay. you go. Perfect. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra duda? Okay, let's remember. In this case, we're just talking about two structures, right? Be responsible for and be in charge of, right? Ser responsable de y estar a cargo de. Okay? So those ones are forms or are uh, structures that we can generally use in our jobs. Por lo general, son más aplicadas al momento de estar en nuestro trabajo, ¿ok? All right, that's what it is. Give me one second. This is good. There are a lot of, of your classmates that are not coming. Ok, cool. Now, let's jump into the, another example that I want to show you up with the next structure. Okay, uh, let me see. Ivania, can you help me out reading this one, please? Um, yeah, number three. He is accountable for hiring new employees. Okay, thank you, miss. He is accountable for hiring new employees. What do you think that sentence means? Que ahí dice que están contratando a empleados de, de contabilidad. Contratando. Are you sure, Carlos? Cuando dice hiring, que ah. como que hay plazas. Ah, pero hace rato acabo de mencionar que no es en sí la acción en progresivo, right? O continuo. O sea, de contratando. 
sino más bien contratar. All right? Hire significa contratar. Ok, pero ¿qué significa be accountable for? ¿Alguien tiene una idea de qué significa? ¿Alguna vez lo han, lo, lo han escuchado? ¿Esa estructura? ¿No? No, teacher. Okay, ¿Qué significa? Cool. All right. All right. So, be accountable for es lo mismo que be responsible for. Right? Ser responsable de. Ok? That's what it is. Ser responsable de. Ok, what is that? All right. That means, that's, that's, that's why we got in here. He is accountable for hiring new employees. Ah, él es responsable de contratar nuevos empleados. All right? So this is the way how we can translate this example sentence, okay? Remember, responsable de, right? Ser responsable de. That's what it is, be accountable for. All right. So let's continue with the next one. Okay, this is the next. It says, he is dedicated, as an app, he is dedicated to helping co-workers in his job. So, taking in consideration that says helping co-workers in his job, what do you think this wants to uh, say? Being Dice que está el, el, el dedicado a ayudar a, a, a sus compañeros de trabajo. There you go. Thank you, Carlos. Yeah, I mean, básicamente, be dedicated to is like ser dedicado a, right? There you go. That's, that's the way how we can translate That's a structure. So he is dedicated to helping co-workers in his job, right? Ah, él es dedicado a ayudar, está dedicado a ayudar a sus compañeros o sus colegas, whatever you want to say, in his job, right? In his job. So this is the way how it works, all right? So any question with this right up to now? Hasta acá tenemos alguna duda con respecto a estas, uh, let me see, three, four structures that we have been discussing. ¿Alguna pregunta? Comité tú. I am in. That's the next one. Es, esa es la próxima. Ah, ok. But comité tú, it's likely similar to them. I'm going to show you one example with this. Give me one second. Uh, creo que sí lo puedo hacer. I'm going to clear up this. Ok. I didn't include this one in here. Okay, comedy. Basically, listen up. Committed to, it's basically comprometido o comprometida a. Okay? In that case, let's put Carla is committed to. Okay, any here, listen. In here, you need the action that she's about to do or the action that she does, it has to go in ING. All right. Now, for example, Carla is committed to working hard every day. Take a look at that. Carla is committed to working hard every day. So what does it mean in this case? ¿Qué estoy queriendo decir con este ejemplo? Que Carla está comprometida a trabajar duro todos los días. Exactly, right? So that's the, that's the way how can we interpret this example. All right? Entonces, recuerden, siempre de committed to, por lo general, el verbo que coloquemos acá, sea cual sea el verbo, ese verbo tiene que ir con ing, modificado con ing, okay? That's the only uh, uh, way that we can create this type of structures, right? Entonces, remember, after two or after four or after of, por lo general siempre vamos a colocar un ing en el verbo. All right. Any question with this? Hasta acá. ¿Alguna pregunta? Estos van a ser las, las, 
básicamente las cinco estructuras con las cuales vamos a estar creando ejemplos y vamos a estar practicando, inclusive en la conversación. A ver. Any question with this? ¿Alguna pregunta? Mm, okay. I didn't understand the numbers. Two? Yeah, the number three. Uh, the expression accountable because I have issues with the internet. Ah, okay. All right. No problem. Okay, number three, right? Yes. Okay, accountable for. ¿Qué decíamos que significa be accountable for? Para los demás, ¿qué decíamos que era? Responsable. Responsable. De... Ok. Básicamente, be accountable for es lo mismo, es una frase sinónima a be responsible for. Ok. So, that's why we had an example. He is accountable for hiring new employees. O sea, él es responsable de contratar nuevos empleados. Ok. But let's put some extra examples. Right, let's create some extra examples. Let's put one in here. Check this out. So I can say, look at this. Okay, let's put. Let's put children because I don't know if you have more than one. Look at this. Emmanuel is accountable for taking care of his children. Ah, what I'm what do I want to say with this, Emmanuel? Ah, it means that you are responsible for taking care of your children. Ah, acá estoy mencionando que Emmanuel es responsable de cuidar a sus hijos ok, so you see that's the way how we can deal with this structure ok, are we understanding with these examples Emmanuel? Yes, ok, perfect aparte de esa, ¿cuál era la otra que mencionaba? o solo esa era Yes, only with that. It's just that? Okay, perfect. Uh, just one question, people. Uh, this is this is for, let me see. Raquel, okay, Joanna is still working. Raquel, Patty, and Andres, are you there? Just to confirm. This is the first day I, I, I see your names in here. So are you there, people? Están ahí. Ok, ahí barely see Andrés. Ahí está. Teacher, una consulta. Ya, yeah, Michelle. Cuando un verbo tiene la, la letra, la Y, como por ejemplo study y se le agrega ING, ¿cómo uh -huh. sonaría? Porque son dos I. O sea, o sea, casi suenan igual, no sé. Básicamente suenan igual, solo que el sonido y la pronunciación es más largo. Starting. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Starting. Starting. Es un poco más, uh, digamos, prolongado el sonido en cuanto a la pronunciación. Pero y en cualquier otro verbo que tenga una terminación así, si solo se le agrega la ING. Sí, por lo general. No se le cambia nada. Exactly. Solo se le agrega okay. la ING a, a la gran mayoría de verbos. Por lo general, no, okay. no. A menos que un verbo termine en E, ahí sí. Se le elimina la E, ¿ok? Y se le coloca ING. All right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Esa es la única. Okay. Ahí solo es cuando se le puede omitir, eh, digamos, se le puede eliminar una letra y colocar ing, pero por lo demás, siempre solo se le coloca ing. Y cuando un verbo termina en, en y, así, y simplemente se le coloca ing y el sonido es más alargado. That's the only difference. Right? That's what you can do in that case. All right. If you don't have any other teacher, question with this. Ajá. Una consulta, teacher. Yeah, I mean, go on. Eh, vaya, en las la palabras responsible y accountable, prácticamente lo mismo. 
Basically, they are synonyms. Exactly. They Vaya, are synonyms. Um, pero habrá algún, en alguna oración específica donde tenemos que utilizar ya sea una o ambas va a ser este, lo mismo. Va, okay. va, o sea, ambas va a ser, este, va a valer, lo, o sea, esa es la duda que yo tengo. Ah, ah ok, ok. Uh, por ejemplo, look at this. Responsible for, por lo general, cuando llevamos la preposición for, y creo que esto lo vamos a ver ya en el manual, hay una parte de eso, a ver, a ver ya, ya que se me está adelantando, no problem with that. Por lo general, cuando es for, right, cuando ya estamos hablando de responsible for, básicamente es cuando usted está haciendo una actividad, ¿ok? Right, en la cual usted toma como un rol central, por así decirlo, ¿ok? Ahora bien, en estructuras, cuando llevamos to, listen up, cuando ya llevamos to, voy a explicar esto también, es básicamente cuando reportamos algo ya sea a alguien superior a nosotros, por decirlo así, a nuestro jefe. ¿Ok? En el caso de be responsible for y accountable for, por lo general, ambas significan lo mismo, porque ambas van dirigidas a un mismo fin, porque ambas llevan básicamente la preposición for. ¿Ok? Caso contrario es si llevara la preposición to, as I told you. Entonces, y ahí sí ya tomar un contexto un tanto diferente, por así decirlo, ¿ok? Pero entonces, por lo general, for es cuando se toma un rol eh, determinado, ¿ok? Si está a cargo de, significa que usted es quien dirige, ¿ok? La acción de la que se va a hablar, ¿vale? O en el ambiente en el que va a estar. No sé si me voy a entender, William. Yes, teacher. Ah, ok, cool. All right, any other question, people? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? De hecho, vamos a ver eso un poco más adelante también ya detenidamente. ¿Any other question? Ok. Let me see. Just listen to check. Ah, ok, cool. Some of you have, are having problems with, uh, the, with the the internet. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. The proper verb hearing is hire. No, lo hire. ¿Cuál verbo? Hiring. Hiring. Hire. Hire. Uh -huh. Hire. Ah, ok. Acá la pronunciación es hiring. Ok. Pero la, la forma base del verbo es hire. Por lo general es H-I-R-E. Ok. Este es un caso de los que les mencionaba anteriormente. Que todo verbo, o sea, la, la gran mayoría de los verbos, hire. Así. Esa es su forma base. Este es con ING. ¿Qué hacemos en este caso? Eliminamos la E y colocamos ING. ¿Ok? So, entonces, esta es la forma base del verbo. ¿Ok? Acá ya es cuando lo tenemos con ING. Esa era su... ¿Su, su duda, okay. Carlos? Sí, ok. Ok, perfecto. All right, so this is the way. Now let's move on with the next with the next things that we have. Okay, take a look at this. It says just as not, listen up, just as not after the verb be as in the following examples. Esto es cuando nosotros ya creamos oraciones negativas, okay, sobre un contexto determinado. This is just for negative examples. Okay, in a different context. Examples. Look at that. Gilberto, can you please help me out reading this example? Gilberto? Hi, teacher. Okay. Can you help me out reading the example, please? I am not responsible. Responsible? Responsible for uh -huh. arriving right. late, uh -huh. late to court. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Gilberto. Listen up. I am not responsible for arriving late to work. Ah, what does it mean? Ah, no soy responsable de llegar tarde al trabajo. 
So you see, so in that case, we generally use, as I told you, the word not just to become one positive statement into a negative statement, okay? Take a look at this other example that I have over here. Julio, can you help me out reading that one, please? He's not in charge of moving the new material. Okay, thank you, mister. He is not in charge of moving the new material. Ah, so you see, this is a negative statement, right? Aquí es cuando ya decimos, ah, no, él no está a cargo de mover el nuevo material. So you see, ¿qué es lo único que solemos hacer? Colocar not. ¿Dónde vamos a colocar not? Básicamente después del verbo to be, right? That's what we do. Write down not after the verb be. All right, let's continue with this. Let me see, someone that has not participated that much. Emmanuel, tell me a reading, Emmanuel. She's not accountable for writing the reports. Nah, okay, cool. Remember, it's like the same thing as if I say, she is not responsible for hiring uh, or writing in this in this case the reports right so but we say she is not accountable for uh, writing the reports so basically all of it it's in negative yeah and we got another one over here andres are you there yes okay can you help me out reading this example please he is not, uh, he's not dedicated to doing a good job. Okay, cool. Thank you, mister. He's not dedicated, all right? Listen up. To doing a good job. All right. Ah, he's not dedicated to doing a good job. Okay, so all of them are just negative statements, all right? Using the expressions that we got over there. All right. Do we have? No, no, we don't have any other one. Okay. Uh, are you taking notes, people? Están tomando nota de ellos? Okay, si están tomando nota, just let me know when you finish so I can move on, okay? No. Teacher. Yes. And a number four. Uh -huh. uh, dedicated. Así se dice. Dedicated. Yeah. Dedicated. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's take a look because I I don't really want to 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 see if you are understanding what we are doing, people. Listen up. Are you responsible for doing something? Let's start in your house. Okay. Podrían mencionarme un ejemplo. Un ejemplo positivo. ¿De qué son responsables ustedes en su casa? En su casa, ahorita. All right. Very responsible for, but in your house. Okay, like in my case, I am responsible for doing the chores in my house. All right? That's my example. But I want you to do one. Tell me, what are you responsible for doing in your house? Okay? Write down one example of it, and when you finish, uh, just let me know. Okay? Let me know when you finish. Yo tengo una, teacher. Okay. Está bien. okay. Okay. Let's read it. I am responsible for the pay bills. Uh, listen, I am responsible for... Y después del for, tiene que ir el verbo con ing. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. The paying, the paying bills. Eliminemos el de. Yeah. Uh, I am responsible for paying bills. The bills, okay? Paying the bills. Okay. Very good. Paying the bills. Yeah, man, I am responsible for paying the bills. Very good, William. That's a good example. Any other one that has finished? 
Finish. Okay, Xiomara. And then, Carlos? I am responsible for buying food. Okay, very good. Thank you, Xiomara. Carlos? Okay, I am responsible for buying food in my house. Ah, okay, cool. Pretty similar to what Xiomara did. All right, that's cool. Any other one that has finished? Okay. Uh, I am uh, for paying the house. Ah, okay, cool. All right. For paying the house, very nice. Somebody else? Let me know when you finish. Teacher. Yes. Tengo otra para ver si está bien. Okay. I am, I am, I am responsible for cleaning room. For cleaning the room. Okay. That's acceptable. Yeah, man, that's okay. Very good. Somebody else? Just let me know when you finish. I am uh, accountable for paging for internet, internet mostly. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. You're the one who pays the internet? No, nah, that's cool. That's <laughs> cool. <laughs> there you go. Carlos, were you about to say something? Yes, I have. I have another. Uh, ah. I am responsible for going to the supermarket in my house. No, ah, okay, cool. That's acceptable. Thank you, Carlos. Somebody else? Alguien más? Your teacher. Okay, Michelle. Uh, I am responsible for paying the bills in my house. Ah, okay. You're the one who pays the bill. Very good. Somebody else? Uh, I am responsible for a guy, my children to school. For you, see. For llevar, de llevar mis hijos a la escuela? Exacto. I am responsible for taking, taking. Ahí es el ah, take. taking. Yeah, I am okay. responsible for taking my children to school. Yeah, man. Cool. Somebody else? Alguien más que ya terminó? Just turn on the microphone and, 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 and read the example that you have. Jose Elgar, do you finish? Sí, se podría, teacher, I am responsible uh -huh. for working every day. Ah, okay. Yeah, I mean, you're the one who goes every day. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's okay. acceptable. Cool. Uh, let's see, who else? Cindy? Yes, teacher. All right, Cindy, can you give me your example? I am responsible for buy, buying the buying? supermarket in my house. Ah, okay, cool. Thank you, Cindy. All right. Uh, all right, Joanna, you're, you're going to be like as a listener, right? Todavía está, está en el trabajo. Yo estoy en el segundo. Eh, me ponen un tratamiento para la garganta y hoy me tocaba. Por eso no, pues, no me permiten tener la cámara encendida. Pero Ajá. sí le estoy escuchando toda la clase. Ajá, sí, sí. Incluso Ajá. tengo una oración, no sé si se la puedo decir. Claro, claro, claro. I'm responsible for taking care of my children. Ok, very good. There you go. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you. Espero se mejore. Ok. That's cool. All right, Andres. Are you there, Mister? Uh, 
Aún no estoy listo, teacher. Ah, okay, you're still doing it. Okay, cool. Let me see who else is in here. Ah, uh, Patty Morales. Are you there? Are you there, Miss? Hmm, okay, I guess she's not there. And uh, Raquel? No, no, I should not have teacher. Nah, okay. You were the one who. I'm thinking about the second. Ah, it was it was another one. It was Cindy. Okay. Uh, Carlos Gamera, did you participate already? I am responsible for cooking the dinner every night. Ah, okay. Ah, you're the one who cooks the dinner. Okay. That's cool, man. That's cool. Perfect. Teacher. Yes. Another. Okay, Carlos, go on. I am responsible uh, for uh, for cooking food in my house. Okay, cool. You are the responsible for cooking. Okay, that's acceptable. There you go, Carla. Okay, I am responsible for paying the house bills. Mm, okay, cool. You are the one uh, that pays everything. Okay, cool. Let me see, Gilberto. Tengo uno, teacher, a ver si está bien. Ok, go. I am responsible for sweeping in the house. I am responsible for sweeping the house. Right? Yes. Ah, ok. Ok. Este es el que barre. Ok, cool. That's nice, man. Me too. I'm the responsible yes. for doing that. Okay. Raquel, you raise the hand. Yes, I have the sentences. Okay. Sentence. Um, I am responsible for my own expenses. For my own? Expenses. Okay. All right. I am responsible for my own expenses. Técnicamente, that's, that's correct. Ok. So, lo único que ahí nos, nos, nos falta básicamente el verbo con ing. Por ejemplo, I am responsible for, eh, example, doing my own expenses. You can even say that. Y ahí tenemos la oración con el, con el ing, ok? Ok. All right, perfect. Thank you, Raquel. All right, I guess, uh, let me see who's missing. Veronica, did you participate already? No, I ah, am responsible I for cleaning my house. Ah, okay, good. <laughs> no funcionaba okay. el micrófono hace ratito. Que calladita estaba, que ya pasar desapercibida. Ajá, uh ajá, -huh. uh -huh. okay. The microphone was not working. <laughs> All right, let's continue with that. These ones just are like the ones from negative statements. Let's remember. Now, can we create questions with this? Yes, we can create questions with this type of structures. All right? Podemos crear inclusive preguntas con este tipo de estructura. Como así? Look at this. Uh, somebody else will help me a reading. Let me see. Michelle, help me a reading this question. Uh, who is responsible for doing the chores at home? Ah, okay. Who is responsible for doing the chores at home? Okay. Look at the example answer. In this case, Carlos uh, Chavez. Uh, sería la tercera. My, yeah, my son. The answer, yes. My son is responsible for doing the, ch the chores at home. Ah, okay, cool, very good. My son is responsible for doing the chores at home. Basically, that's the answer to the question, right? Básicamente, ahí estamos ya dando la respuesta a la pregunta. Okay, uh, next. Xiomara, help me reading the question. Who are you responsible for training in the company? 
No, okay, very good. Who are you responsible for training in the company? It says. Nice. Let's keep going with this. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Who can help me out with this? Give me one second. I'm just looking for a person to read this. Jose Edgar, can you please help me out reading the answer? Hola, hola, la, I am responsible yeah, for that one. training the new employee. Okay, very good. I am responsible for training the new employee. Okay, that's the one, right? Ah, yo soy responsable de entrenar al nuevo emple, eh, empleado. That's, that's the way. Okay, let's say the next one. Julio César. Okay, I guess Julio is, is, is not there. Uh, William, are you there? Okay, be there, William. Uh, let's see, Cindy, tell me around this question. How is in shared, shared? In shared, uh huh. Of going to the supermarket. Okay, very good. Who is in charge of going to the supermarket? Ah, ¿quién está a cargo de ir a los supermercados? Who? Carlos Gamero, great answer. My wife is in charge of going to the supermarket. Ah, okay, thank you, mister. There you go. So basically, this is the way how can we create questions, okay, using this type of structures. Entonces, básicamente, esa es la forma en cómo nosotros podemos crear preguntas usando esta estructura y a la misma vez dándoles la respuesta, ¿ok? So, estas son como el tipo de preguntas más comunes los cuales nosotros podemos hacer utilizando eh, esta estructura, ¿ok? Cool. Bien, si no tienen ninguna otra pregunta uh, que añadir a esta parte acá, uh, si gustan pueden copiar uh, las preguntas y las respuestas y me los hacen saber cuando hayan terminado. O you can even take a screenshot if you want. And just let me know when you finish. All right, just let me know when you finish, okay? Almost done, teacher. Okay. All right, you finish? Finish. Okay, give me one second. Yes, teacher. Finish. Jesus. You got colors. Okay, finish. cool. Finish. All right, perfect. If you have already finished, just give me one second. Antes de, avance, de continuar con esto, voy a pasar la segunda asistencia, okay? Because it's time. Just give me one second. I'm going to pass the attendance list and I'm going to answer to one of your classmates. Bien, no tiene. Give me one second, people. Jesus Christ, a lot of your classmates have problems with the internet. But anyways, let's 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 move on with this. 
Okay, let's see. Andres Joel. Present. Okay, it's you, Pullman. Carlos Mauricio. Present. All right, good. Cindy Melanie. Present. Okay, excellent. Stephanie Michel. Eh, present. Nice. Ivania Jamilet. Present, teacher. Okay, excellent. Jacqueline Patricia. All right, she's not there. Joanna Sarai. Present. Okay, very good. Let's see. Jorge Alberto. Ay, mi Jorge, hay problemas. Ah, uh, Jose Edgar. Present. Okay, perfect. Ah, uh, Juan Emanuel. Present. Okay, cool. Juan Gilberto. Present, teacher. Ah, okay, very good. Let's move. Julio Alberto is not here. Julio Cesar. Uh, present. I try to go to home. <laughs> ah, yeah, man. I li I'm listening that. I know that you're, you're on your way home. Aha. Uh -huh. Karen, uh, Karen didn't show up today. Uh, Carla Lisset. Present. Okay, excellent. Uh, Raquel Stephanie. Present. Okay, very good. Let's move. Veronica Arely. Present. Okay, very nice. Uh, Wendy Jamilet. Present. Okay, nice. Let's move. William Ernesto. Okay, I guess William is kind of busy. Let's continue. Siomar Elizabeth. Present. Ah, okay, very good. Carlos Jose. Present teacher. Okay, cool. And the last one, Reinaldo Chavez. This is not here. Right? It's not here. Okay, let's continue with, with the presentation before going on with the manual. Right, teacher. Yes. Tengo problemas bastante con el internet. Lo que pasa es que yo sepa del celular, lo hago. Entonces, se me... No sé por qué me está fallando bastante. Ah. Pero hasta ahora me está pasando esto, sí. Es raro, es raro. Pensé que estaba ocupado. No. <risa> ok, cool. Espero que no le siga dando tanto fallo. Es Ahorita no, ya no, lo reinicié no. otra vez para ver si es que era, pero... <risa> ah, por okay. si me llamó, presente, ni modo. Ah, ya, men, ahí, 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 all right, questions to answer. This is for you guys, okay? This is for you. It says, answer the following questions using the structure appropriately, okay? Look at this. I think there are just three questions. Yeah, I mean, it's just three questions. It says, what are you responsible for? Aquí estamos hablando del trabajo, okay? What are you responsible for? ¿De qué es responsable su trabajo? What are you in charge of? Ah, de que está a cargo. Ok. Ahí puede tomarlo igual en el ambiente laboral. What are you in charge of? Right? What are you dedicated to? Ah, ¿a qué está dedicado usted? All right? Ya es en su trabajo. Ok. ¿Cuál es la dedicación que le pone? Ok. ¿En qué aspecto? So, I want you to answer these three questions, people. Quiero que me respondan estas tres preguntas. Tal y como hemos... Uh, Visto los ejemplos anteriores de la diapositiva anterior, ¿ok? Let's do it. Recuerden que en las preguntas con what ustedes son responsables, de acuerdo a la actividad que ustedes mencionen, así va a ser el verbo que ustedes van a incluir, ¿ok? Recuerden, no van a, util no van a utilizar, uh, por así decirlo, el verbo en forma base. Después de for o after of, o después de to, recuerden, el verbo tiene que ir en ing, ¿ok? Dependiendo de la acción que nosotros queramos hablar. Let's 
let's write down the questions and then give them an answer, okay? Luego les damos una respuesta entonces. Let me know when you finish, okay? Just let me know when you finish. All right. ¿Hay alguno que ya terminó? ¿O cómo vamos? ¿Alguien tiene alguna duda? All right. Give me one second, people. I'm just going to fix uh, the charger of the computer. Give me one second. All right, let's 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 continue. Eh, sure, eh, tal vez la primera para de mi parte sería I am already ready search quantity of is is ex quantity work work. Now, okay, cool. And the second one. Mm, ¿Cómo? La segunda. Eh, la otra es I I am I, I am too eh, eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Como como quantity surveyor surveyor surveyor. Como no le escucho muy bien. ¿Cómo qué dijo? Ah. Es que eso no sé he qué todavía. Pero ah. es como quantity, quantity, o sea, como llevar la contabilidad de, de la obra. Ah, ok, all right. So in that case, what are you in charge of? I am in charge of 
okay, managing the accounting, okay, the contabilidad, if you're talking about contabilidad, it's accounting, okay. Ah, okay. Okay, let's, let's, let's finish that one, okay. Right. There you go. Quien ya haya terminado las tres, pueden encender su micrófono y leérmelas, ¿ok? Uh, the first one the, is, uh, I am responsible for washing my co-workers. It, uh -huh. it is the first okay, answer. Uh -huh. the, the second answer is, I am in chair of checking the materials. Okay. And the, and the last one, uh, I am dedicated to to reporting everything about the White House. Ah, okay. You're dedicated to work uh, to reporting, right? Everything about the White House. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else besides Carlos that had finished? Anyone that terminó? Okay, boy, yo. Okay, Carlos, let's go. I am responsible for opening the office in the morning. Very good. I am in charge is, and I am in charge of mm -hmm. supervise the job. Okay. I am dedicated to manager. I am dedicated to manager the office. Ah, in this case, seria managing the office. Okay, así. Managing the office. Okay. Okay, very good, Carlos. Okay, somebody else? Alguien más que ya haya terminado? Me? Me too. Finish. Okay, first Emmanuel, luego Xiomara, y luego, no me acuerdo quién más. Bueno, no sé, vamos a ver. Okay, Emmanuel. Oh, Verónica. Ah, Verónica. <laughs> okay, cool. Emmanuel. Okay, uh, I am responsible for taking. 200. I am responsible for preparing the operation. I am sure of applying the security or norms. How do you say? Okay, norms in that case or behaviors? Rules? Behavior, rules of security in my work. Okay, very good. And I am dedicated to event to to stay staying at time in my work. Ah, okay. Actually, to be on time, right? At work. Mm. Okay, very good. Thank you for your answers, Emmanuel. Now, Xiomara. I am responsible for taking the medicine every day. <laughs> okay. I am in church for helping my co-workers. Very good. I am dedicated to eating healthy every day. To eating healthy every day. Ah, okay, very good. Yes. Good example. Thank you, Xiomara. Veronica? I am responsible for preparing evaluations. I am in charge of preparing meetings. And I am dedicated to providing psychological attention. Nah, psychological attention. Mm. So it means if I drive crazy, you can help me. <laughs> Podría ser. Yeah, okay. I will take it in consideration. <laughs> okay, Veronica, thank you for your example. Uh, somebody else? Yo. Okay, go, Ivania. Um, number one, I am responsible for sending email of the client. 
And two, uh, my shirt is sample assistant. And number three, I dedicate myself to preparing the sample report. Now, okay, to preparing the sample report. All right, there you go. Thank you, Vanya. Somebody else? Alguien más? Yo, teacher. Uh, okay, Raquel. I am responsible for preparing expensive report. Okay. I am sure of the office money. And I am dedicated to providing everything necessary for work in the office. Now, okay, very good. Thank you, Raquel. Uh, I mean, factor number three. Okay, all right, Bernie, number two. Uh, I am supervisor I have of road and construction. I am responsible for working in work construction. Okay, yeah, you can say that. Cool. So, le falta la número tres. Eh, esa fue la que hice, la otra era la de I am eh, quantity surveyor. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see what are you dedicated to. Ah, so I was going to say, uh, I am dedicated to working in, uh, in construction work, right? Okay, that's what you said. Okay, I was, I was misunderstanding your, your sentences, mister, sorry. Okay, somebody else? Alguien más? Hmm. Wendy? Yo tengo teacher, a ver si están bien. Ah, okay, cool, Gilberto, let's go. Hmm. I am responsible for sending the email on Monday. Ah, okay, very good. I am I am in charge of five employees in my work. Ah, firing employees in your work. Ah, okay, okay. Firing or hiring? Eh, both. Ah. Usted es el que le... Usted, usted es el que les da acá, entonces. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> Está despedido. Uh, no, okay, cool. Qué difícil es. Number three, I am dedicated. Así de se, se pronuncia. De dedicated. Dedicated. Ajá. I am dedicated. Ajá. To super, super, super basing. To, okay, I am dedicated to supervising. The warehouse. The warehouse. Okay, very good. Thank you, Alberto. Cool. Thank uh, you, sir. All right. Wendy, your turn. Vaya, la primera is I am accountable for verifying the process are done correctly. La número dos, eh, I am in chairs of reporting mostly on the performance of my staff in chair. Okay, that's good. Como se dice chair, no sé cómo se dice. Uh, what? A cargo de. Ah, uh, so basically it's in charge of. Chair of, okay. Eh, y la número tres, I dedicated to planning and supervising what the attendees do. Ah, okay. Very interesting the job that you have. There you go. Thank you, Wendy. Let me see. Who else is missing? Mm -hmm. Carla. Yeah, I mean, Carla is missing. Can you help me out with your examples, Carla? Okay. Um, la primera sería I am responsible for reaching a goal. No sé si así se dice meta. Goal. Uh -huh. Goal. Okay. Um, two, 
I am a charge of sending messages of WhatsApp. Ah, you're okay. In charge of sending um, WhatsApp messages. Three, I am dedicated to recovery a balance, balances. A balance? Balance. Ah, okay. Very interesting. So you're in charge of sending text messages through WhatsApp. Ah, okay, cool. Se ve preocupado ahora que no funcionaba WhatsApp. Dicen, sí. ni idea. Sí, pero dicen. Oh, okay. All right, that's, that was cool. That's cool. Let me see who else is missing. I guess it's just you, right? Uh, we're missing. Uh, and just, just, just with you, I'm going to take the participation with you because we need to move on with this. I want, I do really want you to practice something that we got over there. Give me one second. Uh, we're going to go to the manual to work in there, specifically in page 13. We're going to go into the page 13, and we're going to talk about organization charts. Look at this. Creo que para el viernes vamos a terminar las otras dos páginas que tenemos ahí pendientes con esa parte. But right now, we're going to be talking about this. Look at this. This is a conversation that we're going to be practicing about the structure that we are working on. Okay. And uh, this one is focused mostly, okay, on a organization chart. That's all it, it is focused about. But anyways, let's read. Let's read this, this, this short chart that we got over here. Give me one second. I'm going to put it into it like this listen up it says describe how my uh, how my department relates to others in the organization cuando hablamos de organization básicamente estamos hablando de esta parte look esto okay de cómo crear all right un chart de organización en la cual acá están por departamentos, right? Dentro de una compañía. Si estamos hablando de un floor manager, un floor manager es como el, el jefe de todos, el jefe del safety engineer, maintenance chief, supervisor, maintenance personnel, array right, machine operators, assemblers, and truck drivers. <clears throat> so this is an, an organizational chart. Well, let's see what the conversation is about. It says, this is a conversation between Jessica and Roxana. And it says, Jessica, hi, Roxana, welcome to Rex. Listen, hi, Roxana, welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. I'm the industrial safety engineer. It says, Roxana. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. It says, Jessica. My department is responsible. My department is responsible for keeping the safety, for keeping the safety of the plant of the plant. It says, Roxana, I see. I see. I'll, listen, I'll be part of the maintenance department. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Will I be responsible to you? It says, Jessica, great, great. Our department work together. Our departments work together. But the maintenance chief, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing is in charge of directing 
your department. Your department. You'll be responsible to him. You'll be responsible to him. Can you say Rosana? Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? May I call you if I need help? There you go. It says, sure. It says, Jessica, sure. Okay. From the whole paragraph over here from the conversation, ¿tenemos alguna duda en cuanto a pronunciación o alguna palabra que sea desconocida para nosotros? Pueden preguntar. Yo, yo tengo la donde dice Jessica, donde uh -huh. dice I'm the in, industrial, esa palabra, software chi. Arriba, arriba, aquí. Ah, this one. A la par. I'm the Sa safety. safety. Safety es seguridad. Ah, safety, ok. Safety means seguridad. Ingeniero de seguridad, eh, seguridad industrial. Ok, cool. ¿Something else? ¿Algo más? ¿Algo? ¿Algo más para algo, alguien más? ¿O comprendemos todo? Profesor, lo que todavía no, 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 no he descargado el manual y le quería tomar una captura para el diálogo lo podía poner así completo el diálogo así correrlo un poquito para tomar una captura ah ok give me one second give me one second let's see if I can do something like that no no it's like 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 this is the one that I can I can put you. Uh, give me one second. Okay, can you do it this way? Is it okay like to take the screenshot, Carlos? Bueno, solo cuando dice Jessica Slow Short dice en la última porque no me aparece en la pantalla. Ah, okay, permítame, permítame. Ahí está. Okay. Yeah, it says like sure. Okay. Okay, cool. Now, what are we going to do with this? Listen up. Esta sí va a ser una práctica un tanto corta because of the time. Por el tiempo y necesito que hagamos la, la otra actividad. Okay, listen up. What are we going to do with this information? Uh, me gustaría que compartiéramos eh, la práctica de esta pequeña conversación por lo menos unos cuatro o cinco minutos. Uh, give me one second. Give me one second. Maintenance. Okay, cool. All right, let's continue with this. Look, how many people are we right now? Just 13 people. Jesus. 13. 13. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, I mean, this is weird. Uh, let me see. Emanuel, are you there? Raquel, Jose Edgar, Andres, and Julio Cesar that is connecting right now. 14 right now. I am in this, that, that's like this. I am in Raquel is a, is, is, is a enter right now. Yeah, it's just, just keeping up. So we got 13, uh, 12, almost 12. Okay. Yeah, I mean, con 12 lo podemos, podemos hacer. This is uh, the same. Give 
ini warsa itu. Ini sekali. Alusan, mana, bos, 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 bos. Nah, manikin nabi, ikos. Rakyat lesa, king lasa, lesa, nama. Give me one second. I'm just, I'm just modifying something right here. Okay, this is the way how we're gonna be doing. Okay, let's open up the the the, the breakout rooms and let's go to work in there for about five minutes. Okay, nueve cuarenta y seis volvemos. Okay, to the main session. Let's go to practice this short conversation, guys. Let's go and do it. All right, let's go there, Emmanuel. All right, Emmanuel, are you there? Andres, Emmanuel, are you there? Alguno de los dos está ahí? Okay, I guess you're gonna join there later on. Can I understand Jessica? Jessica and Roxana, I think. Jessica, okay. And so, if you want to start. Okay. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. In the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety the plant, of the plant. Yeah. Hola. Okay, empezamos ahora, sí. Okay. Hi, Roxana. Sure. Okay. Vaya, ahora sí gusta usted con Julio y luego Julio conmigo. Bye. Okay. Part of day. My thinking. My attention, departments will I be responsible to you. Sí, solo, permítame, este teacher, esta es la palabra safety, si no, no le escuché cómo ah, se pronuncia. Ah, safety, safety. Safety. Yes, safety. 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 Mm -hmm. safety. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. Safety. Yes. O sea, voy yo ahorita, ¿verdad? People raise, for great. Mm -hmm. Right. Great. Our department work together. Okay. Bless you. Salud. Thank Okay. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. It be part of the maintenance department will be responsible to you. Great. 
four departments work together by the maintenance chief who teacher of directing your department. You will be responsible to him. Thank you. Jessica, my, may I call you if I need, 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 need help? Sure. Okay. Hi, Rotana. Welcome to Red. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is the responsible for keeping the safety of the plane. Department is is responsible for keeping the safety of the plan. I see I we part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great, our department work together, but the maintenance chief is in chair of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay, very good. All right, so I guess you have practiced enough. All right, let's go. Let's go to the main section. And I want to listen to you practicing, okay? Okay, teacher. Let's finish. Let's see you there, man. All right, so everybody's coming. Let's see how many we have. Seven people. Jesus Christ. Donde están los demás? I mean, just say people are in here. I know you don't know them. Okay, anyways. Cool. Wendy, who were you practicing with? Usted me aparece en primero aquí de la lista, así que se va primero. With me, teacher. Ah, with Carlos, uh, right? And, and who else? Me too, Raquel. Ah, and Raquel. Okay, and Raquel. Listen up. First, uh, Wendy, I want to listen to you practicing with Carlos, then practicing, uh, is going to be practicing with Raquel, and then Raquel will finish the cycle with you, Wendy, okay? Let's go. Give me one second. I'm going to place the, 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 the conversation so you can see it over here. All right, it's okay. there. Let's go. Wendy, Jessica or, or Roxana? Usted, Jessica. Okay. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I am the industrial safety engineer. Thank you, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plan. I see. I we part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great, our department work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your, your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay, perfect. Now, Carlos, I want to listen to you practicing with Raquel. Okay. Uh, entonces, ahora yo voy a hacer Roxana, Raquel, oye. Okay. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thank you, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our department works together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. 
Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay, very good. Now, uh, Raquel, let's finish and uh, work with Wendy. Okay. Hola. Sería Jessica. Yo soy Jessica ahora. Ok. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the Industrial Safety Engineer. Very good. Thank Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I will be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. All departments work together, together, but the maintenance chief is in the chase of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay, very good. So thank you, Raquel. Thank you, Wendy. And thank you, Carlos. You did it excellent. All right, let, 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 let me see. Okay, there's another trio, right? Veronica and who else? Mm, estoy con... <laughs> Se me olvidó. <laughs> Conmigo y Gilberto. Gilberto, Gil, ajá, Gilberto y Julio. Qué valor, qué valor. <laughs> Los recuerda a ellos, pero no se me había escapado. Ajá, ajá. Ok, cool. Verónica, let's go with César, then César with Gilberto, and let's finish Gilberto with you, ok? Ok. Let's go. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I am an industrial safety engineer. Thank you, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. It'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our department work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You will be responsible to him. Thank you, Jesse. Jessica. Maya called you if I need help. Sure. Okay, very good. Now, Julio, let's go well with your classmate, Alberto, is in the room. Hi, Rosana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica in the US, in the Industrial Safety Engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see I'll be part of the maintaining department. Will be responsible to you. Great. All department work together, but the maintaining chief Chief in the charge of the directing to the department. You will be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. My, I call you X. I need help. Sure. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, let's say Gilberto, let's finish with Veronica. Just to close up that part. Thank you, Chef. Gilberto? Yes. Okay, now let's practice with, with Veronica to finish. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety 
of the plan. I see. I will be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our department work together. But the maintenance check is in charge of directing your department. You, you, you'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I tell you if I need help? Sure. Ah, okay, very good. So thank you, Julio, Gilberto, and Veronica. You did it excellent. Let me see, Xiomara. Who are you practicing with? With Carla. Ah, okay, cool. Mr. Gamero. Okay, who starts? Quien comienza? Yo. Okay, go. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I am the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be plant of the man maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our department work together, but the maintenance chief is charge of directing your department. You will be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay, very good. So thank you, Shumara and Carla. You did it excellent. Now let's see. Okay, let me see. Raquel has already participated. Carlos has already participated. Okay, Emmanuel, who were you practicing with? With Ivania. Ah, okay, good. Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I am the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see a big part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our department work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You will be the responsible for to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you up? I need help. Sure. Okay, very good. Sure, it says. Very good. Who else is missing? Give me one second. It's just Jose Erga. Were you practicing? Jose? All right. Patty, were you practicing? No, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, the blog teacher. Yeah, were you practicing the conversation? Con Gamero. Ah, you were doing with it, Mr. Gamero. Okay, let's go, Mr. Eh, ¿Quién inicia, Mr. Usted, usted, dale, doctor. Bueno. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Red. My name is Jessica. I am the industrial safety engineer. Thank you, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for KK the state of the plan. I see. I will be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our department work 
they to get work together, both they might need chief in charge of their of directing your department, you be respon responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call may I call you if I need help? Sure. sure. Okay, very good. He says, sure. There you go. Andres, were you practicing this your conversation? Andres. Okay, I guess he, he he's he's not there. All right, listen, listen up, people. Uh there was missing uh some of these things. There was missing some activities over here related to this topic. By tomorrow, we're gonna cover up with those things. These questions. I'm talking about these questions. Uh mañana vamos a desarrollar estas cuatro preguntas que por lo general está dice discuss with the partners the questions below, compare the answer with another pair. Básicamente las vamos a hacer en un breakout room. Okay, this one, just to continue practicing with the IMG form of the verb. Uh, and then tomorrow we're going to finish this, this also. Y para mañana igual vamos a terminar esta pequeña actividad en la cual ustedes acá, lo único que tienen que hacer es colocar el verbo de manera ING o de manera continua, como muchos le llaman, right? For example, you got here, our company is considered, right? Okay, and here. You got the bird uh, in E. Right? So this one is going to be done by tomorrow. I'm going to explain how to do this one. All right, this part. All right, using that part. Okay, and this one as well. Okay, there you go. Uh, so by today, it's going to be everything. All right, por ahora nos vamos a quedar hasta acá. All right, y como les mencionaba, parte de esta actividad la vamos a desarrollar mañana. Simplemente es colocar los verbos en ING acá. Lo vamos a hacer de mejor manera mañana al principio de la clase. Lo vamos a hacer a modo de feedback, de retroalimentación. Y parte de otros ejemplos que tenemos todavía pendientes, ¿ok? Eh, con respecto a las preguntas igual de la, de la conversación. All right, I'm just going to pass the attendance list before we go, ¿ok? Just give me one second. Let's see, uh, Andrés Joel. Okay, he doesn't answer. Carlos Mauricio. Sent, teacher. Okay, very good. Cindy Melanie. Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. I think she left. Okay, uh, Stephanie Michel. Neither Michel is there. I am, she was there. With the problem, Ivan Yamilet. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Let me see. Uh, just give me one second. Andres, are you there? Andres. Okay. Because Andres is not there. Uh, Ivan, can you please stay with the 10 minutes feedback today? Ivan, where is Ivan? Ivan, Ivan. Uh, can you please stay with the 10 minutes of feedback today? Bye, sorry. After the class? Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, Jacqueline Patricia, she's not here. Uh, Joanna Sarai, yeah, me too. She's there, right? She's disconnected. Jorge Alberto, he's not here. Uh, Jose Edgar. Present. Okay, perfect. Let's see, Juan Emanuel. Present. Okay, very nice. Let's continue. Juan Gilberto. Present, teacher. Okay, nice. Julio Alberto, not here. Julio Cesar. Present. Excellent. Let me see, Karen is not here. Carla Lisette. Present. Okay, excellent. Let's continue. Present. Raquel, Raquel Stephanie. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Veronica Areli. Present. Very nice. Wendy Yamilet. Present. Very good. William Ernesto. 
William. Bueno, creo que sí, al final lo sacó el teléfono. Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Ok, excellent. Carlos José. Present teacher. All right, cool. And the last one that is the, over here, uh, Reinaldo Chavez. Ok, very good. So, básicamente, people, eso sería todo por esta clase. Nos vemos mañana en otra videoconferencia. Ok, let's, go, let's keep up doing the homework in the platform, please. And tomorrow we're going to continue with part of this topic. Ok, bye bye, people. See you tomorrow. See you. Good night. Good evening, All right. teacher. Good All right, good night. Good night, everybody. Have a wonderful night. All right, so good night, everybody. Give me one second. I'm going to put him in the waiting room. Okay, Ivania. Uh, so you remember this 10 minutes is just to clarify any question that you might have related to the platform, related to the topic from yesterday, and related to the topic from today. So I don't know if you have questions, Ivania. Okay, tal un review de uh -huh. ING. Ah, okay, cool. All right, let's let's put a review, okay, from the ING forms of that one. Realmente me me distraje en ese momento que lo explico porque me quedé dormido. Really? Cansado. Ah, man, you're tired. Trabajo todo el día. Sí, me levanto a las tres y media de la madrugada. Escuela, a las tres y media. Sí, entro a las cinco. Jesus. Ok. Estábamos hablando de estas estructuras. Look. Be responsible for. Ok. Be in charge of. Committed to. Ok. These were the, 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 most, the most remarkable ones. There are more. Give me one second. We even have more, more of those. I'm going to read them. Okay. Be accountable for. I am. That's the other one. Be accountable for. Okay. Look at this. Be accountable for. Okay, can you see my screen? ¿Puede ver mi pantalla? Sí. Okay, cool. Básicamente estábamos hablando de estas estructuras. Look, lo que decíamos es que después de estas estructuras, listen up, después de estas estructuras, acá, en esta parte acá, usted sí. lo que va a colocar es un verbo. Con ING. En ING, exactamente. Decíamos que be responsible for es ser responsable de. Be in charge of es estar a cargo de. ¿Ok? Committed to básicamente viene siendo lo mismo que be responsible for. All right? Ser responsable de. Al igual que be accountable for. Right? So, in that case, ¿qué es lo único que tenemos que hacer en este caso? Listen up. Dependiendo de la acción que nosotros vamos a, a mencionar o a desarrollar, así va a ser el verbo que nosotros vamos a colocar. Por ejemplo, Be responsible for. Yo puedo decir, I am, ok. Responsible for. Y acá podemos colocar un verbo que indique acción. Por ejemplo, I am responsible for teaching you English. You see? Entonces acá después de for, el verbo teach ya lleva el ing. ¿Por qué? Porque es parte de la regla que nos indica que después de la preposición for, de esta estructura, el siguiente verbo tiene que ir con ing. ¿Ok? Ahorita no veo su pantalla. Ah, ¿really? Eh, no, no sé qué le pasó. Uh, a ver, a ver. Give me one second. This is annotated controls. This is the annotations. Jesus Christ. Yeah, ya estaba todo happy. Permítame, voy a dejar de compartir y voy a volver a compartir. Probablemente eso sea. Ok, cool. Mm, that was good. ¿Y ahora? 
a ver si. Ah, perfecto. Esto me aparecen las, 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 las anotaciones acá. Ok, lo que tal. Entonces, a eso es lo que me refería. De que después de esta estructura de I am responsible for, eh, el verbo que vayamos a colocar ahí, dependiendo de la actividad que nosotros queramos mencionar, esta actividad tiene que ir con ING. ¿Ok? Tiene que ir con ING. Siempre la de lo responsible va a ser, se puede utilizar las dos, dos últimas. Yeah, you can even try that, those ones, all right? No hay ningún problema. Uh -huh. Lo puede hacer uh -huh. de esa manera sin ningún problema. Give me one second. Ok, cool. Por ejemplo, look at this. Vamos a hacer otro ejemplo usando in church of. Usted puede decir, he is in church of, y acá el verbo en ing, he is in church of uh, what? Mm, explaining the topic. Ah, él está a cargo de explicar el tema. You see? He is in church of explaining the topic. So, el verbo explain ya se le agrega el ing. Right. Okay, cool. Let's do an extra example. Check this out. Committed to. Committed to es como comprometido con. Okay. For example, Ivania is committed to. What? Learning English. Let's put it that way. It's committed to learning English. Ah, Ivania está comprometida a aprender inglés. Entonces acá después del to, por lo general, el verbo que vayamos a colocar es un verbo con ing. Ok. Aunque vaya en primera persona. Aunque persona, vaya en primera, ¿sí? exacto. Lo único que si va en primera persona, lo único que va a cambiar es el verbo to be. Uh -huh. ¿Ok? Es lo único. Y ahí este verbo y esta estructura siempre va a, ir, va a ir igual. ¿Ok? Y aquí ya no hay que agregarle nada más. Simplemente es la estructura del verbo. Sí, creo que sí me claro. Yes. All right. So, básicamente, después de todas estas estructuras, todo verbo que vayamos nosotros a colocar, ese verbo tiene que ir con ing, ¿ok? Para tener valor, si no, a la estructura no está correctamente. Yes. No sé si hay algo que no le ha quedado del todo claro a ah, Ivani. Something that might be like a little bit complicated for you. Bueno, solamente le voy a decir. Yes, la verdad. Me quedaba ahí en, en duda. Ajá, ajá. Con respecto a la clase de ayer, todo, todo, todo está claro. Sí, sí. Ok, perfecto. Perfecto. Uh, bueno, no sé, algo más en lo que le pueda, le pueda ayudar, Iván, en esta, en esta cosa, aclarar cualquier duda que pueda tener adicional a eso. Ah, una preguntita. Ajá. Eh, en el módulo anterior, uh -huh. vi que me habían bajado asistencia, pero los dos últimos días estuvo lloviendo horrible. Pero siempre me bajaron la asistencia. Me ¿En bajaron serio? justo en la asistencia, sí. Fueron uh -huh. como 20 minutos antes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, no. O sea, como se dice, que siempre consideran que por las lluvias y todo eso, pero vi que no fue así. Pues. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Ay, porque incluso ah. se fue la luz y perdió señal y todo. Ajá. No, pues que como el detalle está en Ivania, en que vaya. En este caso, como eh, los de Insafor, lo único que hacen es, vaya. Si usted está en la, si usted está en la clase y de, 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 de repente pasa algo, ¿ok? Como algo que no podamos controlar, como va, ah, se le va la energía, eh, no tiene internet se hace sino una gran tormenta y usted pierde, eh, digamos, la señal hasta cierto punto como su facilitador le comprende, 
¿me entiendes? Pero lo que hacen los de Insafora es que básicamente ellos toman el tiempo que usted ha estado a, en línea y ese es el tiempo que ellos ponen en, 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 la, en la hoja de reporte, ¿ok? Entonces ahí básicamente ellos lo que hacen es colocar la cantidad de minutos que usted ha estado dentro de la, digamos, de la clase, por así decirlo. Pero si no, no puede porque realmente no se puede. Uh -huh, sí, sí. Por eso es que por lo general... Eh, eh, se tiene sí, que informar a ella. Eh, por lo general, ajá, eso es lo que se, le, se hace. Y también, eh, digamos que en parte, en parte, ah, por eso es que, que se dice, y bueno, lo, lo recalco a veces al principio de cada módulo, que en cuanto a la asistencia, lo preferible es el 100%, pero obviamente surgen ciertos, ciertos eh, digamos, inconvenientes que uno pues, no puede manejar, como usted lo menciona. Entonces, pero de eso ahí tiene por lo menos un 80%, digamos, de que si llega al 80% de las asistencias, no hay ningún problema también. Sí. Uh -huh, sí. Ajá, no, y, con, y, y, y lo bueno es que con usted no tengo ningún problema porque usted le capta bastante rápido a los a los contenidos, al desarrollo de las tareas, y pues supongo que si tiene alguna duda, siempre por lo general revisa los videos, cuando hay algo que sí. no comprende. Uh -huh. Sí, igual en el trabajo, pues, todo mi equipo está en inglés, entonces uno se adapta y todo eso. Ah. Incluso ya cuando uno ve el español, se siente raro, porque ya está acostumbrado. Lo... Exacto, ya está acostumbrado, es cierto. Pues, entonces... Sí, porque tenía... Cuando me cambiaron de equipo hace un mes, uh -huh. estaba en español y, y sentía que el, el anterior lo tenía en inglés, ya, ya no le hallaba, entonces ah. sentía que me lo cambiaran a inglés otra vez. <risa> sí, sí, sí. No, qué bien, qué bien, eso es bueno. Entonces, porque sí, sí se va a mantener, digamos, como un ambiente, que casi todo es like inglés, inglés, en inglés. Así se aprende el vocabulario. Exactamente, ¿no? exactamente, así es como se aprende. Sí, así que en ese aspecto igual no se preocupe. Bueno, ayer aquí yo tengo marcado que casi en 120 minutos, así que vamos bastante bien. Incluso en ayer móvil. me sacó porque estaba tronando bien feo y se fue la luz. Me sacó, pero me dejó entrar rápido. No fue mucho. Ah, sí, sí. Ajá, no hubo ningún problema. Sí, porque acá tiene marcado que usted tiene los 120 minutos. Así que no hay ningún problema. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, cool. Entonces ya sabe, cualquier duda que pueda tener, Igual, siempre, o ya sea en el grupo, o ya sea a través de este medio, me puede comunicar, ¿ok? Ok. Ah, perfecto, Iván. Entonces, no hay nada más que agregar. Espero que tenga una excelente noche, ¿ok? Y nos vemos mañana en otra videoconferencia, ¿ok? Ok, gracias, Iván. Right. Perfecto, bueno. Good night. Good night. Bye, bye. Bye.